What's up YouTube? Dr. T here. So here, Gwyn Shotwell gives a presentation at the annual Aerospace Conference TAMES 2018. So our, our next speaker also, commercial, a uh, program you've heard a lot about. So we're going to hear from Gwyn Shotwell. She is the President and CEO of SpaceX. Gwyn, all yours. Good morning. Thanks so much for the invite to come speak here today. I'm going to preface this. I'm going to keep saying next year, and it's going to mean this year. It's 2018. I still haven't wrapped my head around that. So what I wanted to talk to you about, I'll touch a little bit on our crew program, uh, but really what I wanted to talk about is kind of what SpaceX is doing now, but what SpaceX wants to do in the future, and how does that relate to Texas? So I'll go ahead and start. I always, well, actually, my presentation is mostly videos with a little bit of chatter in between. Look forward to your questions. Um, I always start out a presentation with my overall SpaceX video. But I thought because here in Texas, I thought you guys were most interested in some of the activities were in Texas. So we're going to show an, a new video from our Texas test site in McGregor. Is there supposed to be sound? So we keep the <laughs> we keep McGregor residents on their toes with the rocket engines that we fire there on a daily basis. I think our record right now is eight engine firing in a day. Um, but uh, we love McGregor, and McGregor loves us. Uh, we've brought uh, we've brought jobs, we've brought excitement, and fundamentally, every SpaceX vehicle that goes to space uh, goes through McGregor, Texas, for testing. So that's uh, it's really awesome. It's an incredibly po important part of, uh, of the SpaceX team. Uh, we also are working on a launch site in Brownsville, Texas, as well. 
which is very exciting. Uh, now that will be ready late this year or early next year, certainly for some early vehicle testing. Um, and, uh, and we'll uh, continue on with that site, uh, moving from a test site into a launch site. So let's talk a little bit of background on, on SpaceX and what we're, what we're doing and, and what are the vehicles that we're using to do it. Falcon 9, the workhorse uh, rocket for SpaceX right now. Uh, we fly commercial telecommunications satellites to geostationary transfer orbit. Uh, we fly low Earth orbit missions for science, for NASA, um, for other commercial customers. Uh, Iridium missions, we're flying uh, seven missions for them. Uh, we fly, critically, our cargo dragon vehicle to the International Space Station on a Falcon 9 from both Launch Complex 39A as well as Launch Complex 40 now. Happy to say that's back up and running uh, for the flight uh, that we executed, the CRS-13 flight that's on station right now. So Falcon 9 is the workhorse uh, as far as Dragon goes. The combination Falcon 9 Dragon is also uh, a workhorse for SpaceX and for NASA, bringing critical cargo to and critically from the International Space Station back to Earth. Falcon Heavy, uh, the next vehicle that we are rolling out as a company is on the launch pad right now, actually. Uh, we're working through the activities to get for, through a static fire before launch a few weeks after we complete the static fire. Um, we're stepping through this carefully. It is a beast of a vehicle. Falcon 9 is a beast. Falcon Heavy is three of them strapped together. Um, so we're, we're stepping through that very carefully. The combination of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy will take uh, all of the payloads to their orbital <coughs> destinations that we can conceive of uh, at this particular moment in time. Um, so with those two vehicles, that will basically be the revenue stream or that will provide the revenue stream to SpaceX in order to move forward with some of our advanced technology and our innovations that we're working on as well. I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, another shout out to the Cargo Dragon. I've got one right now on station. Uh, we executed four missions to the International Space Station last year. That was a record for us, which was extraordinary. NASA has been an extraordinary partner for SpaceX. Um, we love NASA, um, our largest customer uh, and, and partner as well. Now, Chris spent a lot of time talking about his commercial pr crew program. We have a commercial cr crew program as well. And I think if you think about how NASA is stepping through the crew program incredibly smartly, they have two providers. Uh, and we're not in really a competitive mode, although I'm sure we both feel very competitive about who's going to get to station first with astronauts. Uh, there's two independent providers, very independent providers, uh, working to provide capability to get American astronauts back on American vehicles to the International Space Station. Incredibly intelligent way to step forward with that. They started with public-private partnerships uh, that led to the commercial crew program that we're both executing right now. Um, Crew Dragon, you saw some Super Draco testing in the Texas, uh, in the Texas video. Super Draco is the uh, get out of the way of the rocket uh, engine that we have uh, for our Dragon program. Uh, Dra the Dragon 2 is similar to Dragon 1, except that it has this cargo or this crew escape system, which is necessary to meet NASA requirements and, frankly, is necessary to maintain crew safety in the case that uh, there is an issue with with the rocket. Never want to have an issue with the rocket, but it does happen. Uh, and you want to make sure that the, uh, that the astronauts are safe, even when something terrible happens uh, on the rocket side. Um, so we're firing those Super Draco engines. As a matter of fact, we've got a jet pack on the stand in Texas right now. We should be firing here in the next couple days. We have completed our pad abort test with the, the Dragon capsule. Uh, we're in the process now of doing a bunch of crew training and crew testing uh, coming out of the capsule when it's in the water, uh, all the crew display activity and making sure we get the displays uh, that the crews can read uh, when, they're, when they're doing executing their, these critical missions. As far as timelines go, uh, we're sitting right on top. Actually, Boeing and, and, and SpaceX are sitting right on top of each other with respect to uh, anticipated flights. Uh, we will do two well, actually, three more test, uh, three more big test system test missions. We did the pad abort already. We did that in 2015. Uh, we've got the first uncrewed vehicle that will go to space station in August, uh, and then we will do a an in-flight abort test as well. Basically, have Dragon escape off the Falcon 9 rocket in its most difficult time to escape. 
uh, make sure that that lands successfully. That is an uncrewed flight. And then we should end the year this year with a, uh, a crewed flight to the International Space Station. So that will be incredibly, ex this is going to be an incredibly exciting year for commercial crew uh, with uh, SpaceX and Boeing flying astronauts to the station this year, <coughs> finally being able to bring that critical uh, capability back to the United States.